Hi! In this video, we are going to talk about Abu Dhabi vs Qatar. So before we start the video, please consider like and subscribe to our channel for future uploads. Let's start the video. In this age of globalization, people are moving in and out of their country more and more to fulfill their quest of securing better living conditions and grabbing a promising career opportunity. Shifting your base to a whole new place is never that easy. If your next destination is the Middle East, then Abu Dhabi or Qatar has already caught your attention. Weather Abu Dhabi and Qatar are not far from each other, and both these places are nestled on the same side of the Persian Gulf. This actually allows these two places to share more or less similar set of climatic conditions. Sun shines bright all through the year, and therefore winter months are pretty weak in marking their presence, both in Abu Dhabi and Qatar. The best part of sharing border with the Persian Gulf is receiving plenty of cool breezes from the sea. This is the primary reason that you see a significant drop in the temperature as soon as the sun disappears. As both Abu Dhabi and Qatar are surrounded by arid and sandy desert, daytime temperature soars high for most of the time of the year. In Doha, summers are sweaty, arid, sometimes cloudy and long. July marks the hottest month of the year, whereas January is the coolest one. Average temperature in June is 42 degrees Celsius, which drops to 15 degrees Celsius in January. Coastal area experiences round the year highly humid conditions. When you are in Abu Dhabi, there is not much difference in overall climatic condition that you see in Qatar. Summers are as usual uncomfortable and winters are pleasant. Average temperatures in Abu Dhabi reach around 18 degrees Celsius in January and 35 degrees Celsius in the month of August. No wonder why foreign tourists prefer to flock to the city during the winter months. Cost of Living If you compare the cost of living in these cities, it might be quite surprising for you to see that both Abu Dhabi and Doha, capital of Qatar, offer exceptionally good standard of living at a much cheaper rate. Although both these cities are known for the luxury lifestyle, groundbreaking technology, and matchless architecture, that doesn't inflate the cost of living here. Living in Abu Dhabi or Doha is less expensive than any other major cosmopolitan giants like London, New York, or Sydney. If you choose Doha to live, then your cost of living will go down further compared to Abu Dhabi. You have to shell out approximately AED 21,000 per month in Abu Dhabi to enjoy a decent living standard, and you will need around AED 17,250 per month in Doha to maintain the similar living standard. Both the expenses include average rental costs. As per the data found on Numbio.com, rental costs in Doha are around 39.42% lower, but consumer price are almost 9% higher than in Abu Dhabi. Surprisingly, local purchasing power in Doha is more than 13% higher than Abu Dhabi. Fine dining is also more expensive in Doha. Career opportunities, be it any part of the world, there is no reason to venture out to a foreign land if the range of career opportunities are limited. Thankfully, both Abu Dhabi and Qatar come with a variety of job sectors, creating amazing scope of new employment. It is not that easy to weigh up the career opportunities that one can explore in Abu Dhabi or in Qatar. It requires several factors to be taken into account. But to give you a fair and simple idea of the scenario, we picked up the unemployment rates from both these places. Unemployment rate is a lame man's guide to gauge the chances of grabbing a job in a country or in any particular city. We are deliberately avoiding the data from 2020 because the year was badly hit by coronavirus pandemic situations. Things to do. Leaving your native place and moving to a new city is a tough decision to take and tiresome job to execute. People look for diversion to get accustomed with a new place, new culture, and a completely new vibe. Thankfully, both Abu Dhabi and Qatar has got plenty of things to do and see around. But which place offer more and better in this category? We are here with the best of things to do in Abu Dhabi, as well as in Qatar. Things to do and see in Abu Dhabi Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque Center Ferrari World Warner Bros. World Louvre Abu Dhabi Gaz Morita Circuit, the Cornish, the National Aquarium, Yaz Waterworld, things to do and see in Qatar, the Pearl of Qatar, 
South Wakif, Doha Cornish, Banana Island, Katara Cultural Village, Inland Sea, Desert Falls Water and Adventure Park, Museum of Islamic Art, National Museum of Qatar, Education. When you are migrating to a different country or a city with kids, it may give you a tough time to secure quality education for them if you don't have any prior knowledge about the education system in your new base. The biggest downside of living in Abu Dhabi is non-UAE residents need to pay school fees for their children, whereas UAE residents can enjoy free schooling for their kids. Abu Dhabi's education system consists of both public and private schooling. Overall standard of the schools is very high here. On the other hand, schooling in Qatar is free, irrespective of your kid's passport. The Qatari education system is working hard towards adopting a more modern and Western approach to schooling, but still there are lots to improve. Schools teaching only in Arabic are common in Qatar. Population density. If you hate to move into a city which is crowded and chaotic, then both Abu Dhabi and Qatar can be your savior. As population density directly influences the healthcare benefits, civic facilities, pollution level and traffic on the road, it is better to settle for a place where crowd is not too much to handle. We have covered the major factors to consider while you are moving to Abu Dhabi or Qatar. As per our analysis, Abu Dhabi wins most of the segments, but we understand that different people have different core values and personal goals when shifting to a new destination. So it has to be your decision to take that final call where to move in. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.